This isn't science fiction anymore. The United States has just unveiled an autonomous fighter jet, no cockpit, no pilot, and controlled entirely by artificial intelligence. Meet Fury, the warplane of the future, designed not just to fly, but to think. What does this mean for warfare? Who is the man behind it? And could this reshape the global balance of power? Welcome to Cash for Dola, where we break down complex tech and defense news into clear, powerful stories. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking reveal, Andrel Industries' new AI-powered fighter jet, Fury, and how Silicon Valley's unlikely genius, Palmer Lucky, is shaking up the Pentagon. Palmer Lucky isn't your typical defense contractor, flip-flops, Hawaiian shirts, mullet, that's how he showed up to CBS's 60 Minutes. But don't let the casual look fool you. He's the brain behind Oculus VR and now the co-founder of Anduril Industries, a billion-dollar company revolutionizing US military tech. Founded in 2017, Anduril creates AI-driven drones, submarines, surveillance systems, and now fighter jets. So what is Fury? It's not just a jet, it's a fully autonomous combat aircraft cockpit, no controls, no seat for a pilot. It doesn't just follow commands, it understands its environment, processes data in real time, and reacts like a living pilot. This is what's known as a CCA, a collaborative combat aircraft, designed to operate alongside manned fighter jets. Think of it as a smart wingman that never blinks. At the core of Fury is Anduril's AI brain, Lattice. Lattice integrates input from satellites, drones, radar, and sensors to make real-time decisions. It can identify enemy aircraft, dodge threats, and even carry out missions without direct human control. But it's not out of control. Every Andural system includes a kill switch, allowing human operators to intervene if needed. Why go autonomous? According to Lucky, it's about saving lives. Instead of putting pilots in harm's way, Fury can fly into the most dangerous airspace. And unlike dumb weapons like landmines, smart weapons can tell the difference between military targets and civilians. This isn't just about offense, it's about precision and defense. The US Air Force is taking this seriously. Both Anduril and General Atomics have been awarded contracts to develop CCAs. The goal? Have these unmanned jets flying missions before 2030. Fury's test flight is expected this summer, and if successful, it could redefine the way America fights wars. Fury is built differently, no rare expensive parts, no exotic military engines. Instead, it uses commercial jet engines and common parts, things that can be made in any machine shop across the US. This means cheaper production and faster deployment at scale. Not everyone is happy. The UN and groups like Amnesty International have raised alarms calling autonomous weapons killer robots. There are fears about AI systems going rogue, but Lucky argues that it's more dangerous to rely on outdated, dumb weapons. Andural systems are built with oversight, safety, and battlefield ethics in mind. At least that's the claim. Fury isn't just a new jet, it's a symbol of how Silicon Valley is entering the world of defense. Tech startups like Andural are moving faster than traditional military contractors. They're leaner, smarter, and driven by software not bureaucracy. And this might be what America needs to stay ahead of rising threats from China, Russia, and beyond. Fury represents more than just innovation, it's the start of a new era. AI, autonomy, and rapid development could turn the tide in future conflicts. But the big question remains, will this technology be used wisely, or will it open a Pandora's box on the battlefield? Only time and leadership will tell. If you found this breakdown informative, hit like, subscribe, and tell us in the comments, do you trust AI weapons, or should we draw a line before it's too late? Stay informed, stay aware.